What's up everyone? My name is Kayla Ward. I am an athlete, an actress, a model, an activist. I'm a friend, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter. I've been told I'm a crazy cat lady and I happen to be transgender. And while I understand that not everybody's going to accept or understand this about me, what I do hope is that people can see me as more than just that label. Being trans is a big part of my identity, but it's not the only part of my identity. I'm so much more than trans. And contrary to popular belief, I didn't choose to be trans. I chose to transition, but I didn't choose to feel like a stranger in my own body. I remember as young as five, really struggling with why I felt different than everybody else. When I'd look in the mirror, every ounce of my being said, you're a girl. But the reflection in the mirror said, no, you're not. And I didn't understand that. Again, this was the 80s and early 90s. I didn't have internet. I didn't have a trans role model on a television show to look up to and know that I wasn't alone. So I just ran from it. Thankfully, I found the game of basketball, quickly became my biggest passion in life, probably a little bit of an obsession. And as I got into junior high and high school where you really start to find your identity, where you fit in, I didn't know where I fit in didn't really fit in with the boys. I didn't fit in with the girls. So I became an introvert. I was alone all the time, except when I played sports, especially basketball. So it quickly became my distraction. It's where I would go to get away from the dark thoughts. When I was on the court, everything else just melted away. But when I wasn't, I thought about suicide often. I had a friend that invited me out to his church youth group, start playing basketball there. It's another chance to get out of the house. As I was there, I started to really listen to the messages and I thought, I found my answer. I'll pray really, really hard that God will make me a girl and it'll happen. Just wake up and just be a girl. Of course, that didn't happen. So I decided to pray for the opposite. Maybe God will just take these feelings away. Maybe I can just be normal. So for the next 15 years, I studied that Bible. I gave my life to Christ and I prayed every single day. During that time, I became an ordained minister. I became a missionary. I fell in love and I got married. I was living the life that everyone expected me to live. The problem was, is I was miserable. Don't get me wrong, there was some amazing times. I did have a lot of fun and I met some amazing people, but I still hated who I was. And I couldn't get past that. And unfortunately, during my marriage, some truths came out. And the marriage fell apart and she wanted a divorce. And when she left, I decided I couldn't go through this again. I couldn't hurt another partner. I couldn't disappoint my family or friends by telling them how I felt. So I decided it was best if I just end my life. I got a bottle of sleeping pills. I didn't drink, but I bought a bottle of wine. And my cats saved my life. They really didn't like being near each other, but in that moment, they were both in my lap licking the tears off my face. And they let me know that they needed me. They, they weren't gonna judge me because of how I identified or how I dressed or who I was. They loved me. So I decided I would see a gender therapist and I would start my journey. I did call my parents and a few friends first and thankfully I found the support and encouragement I needed. 10 years ago, I learned to let go of the self-hatred and shame that I had. And I learned to truly love myself. And it's been an amazing journey so far. It hasn't always been easy. When people see you as different and they try to push you out of bathrooms and sports and housing and even medical care, it can become really disheartening. Every day I wake up and I look in the mirror, I can't help but smile because the reflection that looks back is finally me who I've always been, but now I can finally see. Life has become beautiful. I can't help but enjoy every moment because I'm finally true to who I am. Thank you so much to Cellucor, C4, Extend, the whole Nutribolt family for allowing me this platform to share a small piece of my journey. I hope to share more as time goes by. And in the meantime, if you wanna follow me on YouTube and Instagram and see where my journey goes. Thanks guys. Bye.